I'll, uh, I'll just kick off because uh, we lost a little bit of time uh, in the previous session because there uh, were some technical problems, I guess. But um, um, I think I only had like 20 minutes till uh, 4 o'clock, which is uh, not enough for my uh, 2 minute slides. <laughs> but uh, feel free to leave at 4 if I don't make it. Uh, I will not uh, hold it against you. But not before 4. No, not before 4. Then I will hold it against you, but uh, if you leave it forward because you want to be on the photo, then uh, feel free. No uh, offense taken. So uh, thank you very much for attending uh, my session about uh, dummy content. Um, I'm talking mainly about uh, creating dummy, dummy content with migrate. There's a, a URL on, the, on this first slide where you can uh, find these slides. You can also uh, get a link from there. So, uh, I'll leave it here for, uh, for a second open if you want to uh, have a look. Um, I have a very simple agenda. We'll talk about what the dummy content is, uh, why you can use it, uh, and how to, uh, how to get uh, dummy content. And then, uh, of course, the time we'll be spending on the, the available tools for creating it. So, that is the agenda. Uh, we'll finish with a quick look at uh, some code and a small demo. Um, so first let me introduce myself, my name is Boris Duisburg, I'm a uh, Drupal developer at uh, Finalist. Uh, Finalist is an experienced company working for, uh, in the health and education sector, building lots of uh, Drupal websites there. And we are a uh, gold sponsor uh, this year for Drupal Jam, so a uh, big thumbs up for Finalist there. And if you uh, want to find me on uh, Drupal.org, uh, my name over there is Buddy Works. Okay, so what, uh, what do I mean when I'm talking about dummy content? Uh, there's different names for it. Uh, dummy, demo, default content. It's basically everything that you would like to have available on your website as soon as you start a new site. So this could be pages, users, and so many terms. And it's not only content in the way that Drupal uh, understands content. So not only notes, uh, it can also be menus, paragraphs, files, media. Basically everything that's not uh, configuration. And one thing I would like to add there is that uh, the dummy content should be uh, it should be possible to capture that in text files in JSON or YAML so that you can uh, put it in a version control and uh, um, deploy it to various websites, especially to your test website. Um, uh, I was also interested if somebody is using uh, dummy content at the moment in a uh, project. You're using what, what tool are you using? You don't know. Default content. Default content. And you put up your hand. Yeah, for us it's at the start of the project. Yes. Finding as well, and during the project, let's see what content sync for creating dummy pages. Ah, so you're using my default content. Other tools being used. Yeah, default content. For default content. Oh, okay. Ooh. Developer. Okay, so uh, why uh, would you use it? Well, mainly, uh, well, the most important thing is testing. If you have uh, automatic tests, for example, like backstop, then you want to have reliable and uh, predictable uh, content. So the, the tool only checks the design changes, the CSS changes, the layout changes, and not changes in the actual content itself. So for that, you can use dummy content, because it always stays the same. Another reason for testing would be um, using uh, would be when you do manual tests. Uh, if you have dummy content uh, and dummy users with certain specific roles and passwords, you can give that to a client uh, so he can test a new piece of uh, functionality. Uh, then for theming, it can be very useful because you can deliver to your colleague who has to do the theme. You can deliver the full. Uh, Node with all the content in it and all the paragraphs and headers, footers, menus, everything can be in there so you can start styling. Uh, of course, for demos and distributions, it's nice to have a demo content because you want to show up the, uh, the capabilities of your product. Uh, maybe in some cases, you also want to, uh, when you start a new website, you want to have some taxonomy terms already in there, so you could use this dummy content technique for that as well. So that was a question. That was a slide I was looking for uh, before. So I already asked you what you're using to yeah. skip that. Uh, so the tools, there's the various uh, content modules. I'll uh, show some of them. And the core also has uh, options to create the content, like install profiles. 
and the migrate control. Uh, that's great, the text has gone. Oh, is it an effect? I scared myself, I didn't know I could use the effects. Uh, so, Devil Generate, uh, that's one of the tools, it's, it's very well known, it's a sub module of DVL. And um, using Drush and the UI, you can create uh, tons of dummy content in a very easy, lazy way. Uh, but it's also very crazy because the output can be anything. So it's not really uh, good for having predictable uh, content. Um, there are some add-on modules which uh, allow creating a little bit more realistic uh, dummy content. So um, you should look into that if you want to use uh, level generate. Um, then we have default content. Um, some them, uh, some of the audience already uh, is using it, so uh, maybe less surprises there. Yes, it's one of the more uh, well-known uh, tools. You can uh, use uh, the Drupal UI to uh, create uh, the content, users, taxonomy terms, and then uh, default content uh, gives you the functionality to export all of this to uh, JSON or YAML, YAML files, and uh, then you import it uh, in, another, in another environment website. Uh, it is lacking uh, the possibilities to do, do updates. I think. I, I didn't see them, so that uh, uh, makes it a little bit less uh, uh, useful. Um, you have to install uh, the module again to, uh, if you want to do an update of the, of the domain content. Um, you cannot really change the, the, the text files that it has exported because they are full of uh, long uh, IDs, so if you change them, you break them. Uh, so if you are interested in using default uh, content, then I also recommend using, uh, I recommend instead using Entity Migrate Expert. Um, again, you can use the uh, Drupal UI to create your nodes and all the other entities, and um, it uh, um, gives you the export and import uh, functions as uh, Drush commands. It generates uh, valid uh, migration uh, YAML files and it also hooks into the whole migration uh, functionality so you have your update and your rollback and your uh, the import uh, functions already in there. Um, it's hard to, with this tool it's hard to exclude specific entities so it will um, export everything even if you don't want to have everything in there. Um, I also have to mention that Drupal uh, has always had its uh, had, uh, install profiles. Um, there you have to write all uh, codes for inserting uh, the dummy content you have to write it yourself. But if you'd like to do that, um, have a look at uh, Umami, the uh, install profile that's included with uh, Drupal 9. Uh, they have some good examples there, but it's, it's much harder to write. So that leads us to the uh, so Migrate can do uh, creation updates and, and deletion, rollbacks of uh, entities, and you uh, can use Drush uh, to do that, so that's pretty quick from the command line. Um, you'll have to write uh, YAML migration files yourself by hand, but that gives you uh, all the control um, that you might like to have. Um, the YAML files, they are more or less readable by a human, also more or less writable. By um, I think the content with migrate is made possible by uh, uh, three different um, developments. Um, one of them is that uh, migrations uh, nowadays can be used as plugins. So uh, some time uh, ago, um, migrations were a configuration, so you need to import everything. Clear cache a couple of times. It was a very slow process, and nowadays they are uh, they can be used plugins. So you only need to do a cache rebuild to have the changes in your migration definition available to Drupal immediately. So it's pretty quick. And then another thing is that you can use the embedded data source plugin, uh, which means that you can have uh, a, in a normal migration you would get your data from uh, SQL database or, for example, CSV file. With the embedded data source plugin, you can have the, the data itself inside the migration definition file. I'll show that in an example. But it's 
uh, it's useful because you keep everything uh, together in one small file. Uh, last but not least, uh, Migrate Tools is a config module which uh, gives you a couple of uh, fresh commands to perform uh, migration actions like rollback or import. Okay, we're already just code part. Okay, this is pretty readable. This was uh, the letter bibliotheque, as we uh, call it in the Dutch. Used to call it. But it's, uh, I, I guess this is readable for everybody. Also in the back, the, old, the elder people in the back. <laughs> I mean, the, the young people. That's a couple, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, get into problems here. Okay, um, what you should be seeing here is that I have a, uh, uh, a custom module called Dummy Stuff and it needs a migrations folder. <laughs> well, sorry. It needs a migrations folder because that's where Drupal will look for any of my migration uh, files and definitions. So that's where it automatically picks up those uh, changes. Uh, let's start with simple uh, migration. It's called users. It, it contains four uh, uh, user entities with the roles um, and you, what you can see in action here is the embedded uh, data plugin because it, it actually tells Migrate that inside this, uh, this, this uh, YAML file it will find the data to import. So I defined four users here and uh, people that are accustomed to using uh, Migrate they know that there will be a, that there is a process section in there which maps the the fields in the data, in the source data, with the destination, which is Drupal. Um, so you can see uh, the mail field being mapped with the email field that I have uh, defined. Okay. So that's users, that's pretty straightforward. Even more straightforward would be a couple of taxonomy terms. Uh, that's okay. Uh, in, in the case of taxonomy terms, I only define uh, some, uh, only the names of the terms. Uh, we don't need uh, any more, no need for IDs. Um, I might get a. Uh, okay, so the ne next thing is uh, in migrate, you have to uh, run uh, separate migrations for uh, every entity. So if you want to. Uh, Create an image. If you want to populate the image field, you first have to create the, the files that you have to put into the image uh, field. So first, I have to do a uh, files migration. Um, this migration only contains four simple uh, pictures. Uh, migrate will take care of putting them in the, uh, in the right directory. So if I now go to my news articles, those are notes. This is a migration to create notes. What you should notice here is that I have a uh, in the uh, in the code there's a reference to a file, uh, which is the, the file fid. Okay, it's over here, and those ones refer to the, to the entities that we created in files uh, migration. So we need then in the process section is that. When creating a field image, uh, we have to, uh, uh, to use the migration lookup plugin, so it will find the files that have been created in the uh, in the previous uh, uh, import. Okay. Okay. <coughs> we have some news articles. Uh, I'll quickly sh show how to create paragraphs. Now, basically, the same thing here that for the files. Uh, Create paragraphs. You first have to do a paragraph uh, migration. Now each paragraph will get a uh, specific ID. In this case, it's called text one, so I can refer to it from another uh, migration. There, uh, the rest of this is pretty good. Okay. I don't know what happened. Okay. Uh, so a pretty straightforward migration of uh, a simple paragraph with a header and body text and ID. So I'm 
I'm going to have a look at my basic pages. So uh, this is a migration which will create a couple of basic pages uh, with a title and then uh, um, I ask the migration uh, script to uh, attach two paragraphs to each um, basic page and I refer, I use the, the ID as a, for the reference. Okay. And again if we look at the process section then my field, uh, my paragraphs field is called field content, and uh, again we do a uh, we use the migration lookup uh, plugin to uh, to find the paragraphs in the previous uh, migration. Uh, so this will give me a couple of basic pages, and then we have uh, uh, last migration that I have in my demonstration is a uh, uh, will create many items. So there's no real link with the other uh, migrations here, except that the, uh, the URL... Uh, we have like one minute remaining. <coughs> yeah. We need to go downstairs to look for a picture. Yeah. So it's outside. Yeah. When you leave the room, yeah. you go directly outside. Okay. And we want to make a group picture. It's at yeah. exactly 4 o'clock, <coughs> you need to be outside. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what I said before, if you want to be on the picture, you have to run away now. But if you're interested, in a great demo, you have to stay seated. Because <laughs> now it's going to be very spectacular. So, uh, the only thing I wanted to say about this uh, menu migration is that the paths, uh, they need to be uh, correct and working, otherwise it will, um, uh, it will fail. Okay, so that's what. Then uh, I can run the migration. So, here's a very simple website, there's no content here. Uh, Sites working. Yeah, site works, no users, no taxonomy terms, and pretty simple uh, empty uh, Drupal website. So we need to run the migration. It goes very quick, of course, because uh, it's, it's very little. There's not so much going on here. So that gives me a populated website. I hope, yes, yes, for you. Good to uh, news articles, they have the image files are there, the tags are in there, the menu items are in there, so you can go to the basic page here. Come on, pretty slow. Oh, I've got four, we have four minutes left before the. Four minutes, okay. So, uh, basic page with um, uh, paragraphs attached to it. So uh, <laughs> last uh, page I want to show you is that there's uh, some users uh, imported and uh, that was the code, it was a demo, I have a couple of more remarks, I will skip them for now and uh, in the slides there are uh, references, <laughs> if you have any questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah,